Meghan and Harry fans split seriously over decision on Lilibet's princess title. Harry and Meghan called Lilibet princess for the first time. Prince Harry and Meghan had a major announcement to make on the 8th of March. The couple confirmed that they had christened their daughter in a service held at their Montecito home referring to Lilibet as princess for the first time. Lilibet and her brother, three-year-old Archie, automatically received titles when their grandfather became king. King Charles agreed that the Duke of Sussex's children should use their royal titles at the end of 2022. Despite the fact that Harry and Meghan have stepped back as working royals, it's believed the couple will use their children's titles in formal settings, but not in everyday conversational use. They are said to be keen to not deny their children their birthright, comma, but to allow them the chance to decide for themselves when older whether to drop or keep using the titles. Reaction amongst royal watchers has been mixed. So, the perennial question still remains, one Twitter user remarked. If being a royal is so traumatic, such a burden, carries so much intergenerational pain why would you want to style your kids prince and princess keep your own royal titles? A second questioned, someone please tell me what formal settings two young children in California will be a part of? And a third said, this seems hugely hypocritical. Yes. The children are now entitled to their titles. But the parents can choose not to take them, just like Princess Anne did with her children Zara and Peter. Others were delighted by the news. Princess Lilibet Diana has been christened. Congratulations to our sweet California princess. A second echoed, Prince Archie and Princess Lil Diana, I love it. Another royal watcher simply stated, the children became automatically prince and princess when Charles became king. Edict from King George A.V. from 1917. All grandchildren of reigning monarch get title. The decision that Harry's children would be known as Prince Archie. And Princess Lilibert of Sussex was settled between father and son the month before Prince Harry's memoir spear was published. Harry and Meghan's children automatically became a prince and princess when their grandfather became King Charles III. But it was not known whether they would take the titles amid reports that the monarch could issue letters patent to remove them. And the royal family's website has officially been updated to include the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's children's royal titles. The change was made on Thursday morning, with the entries in the line of succession. For Archie and Lilibert now reading Prince Archie Harrison of Sussex and Princess Lilibert Diana of Sussex. It comes after Meghan and Harry used their daughter's title for the first time as they confirmed that Lily had been christened in an intimate ceremony at their home in Montecito. And Prince Harry so and Meghan and chose a poignant day. Prince Harry and Meghan chose a particularly really poignant day to announce the, the news that they had christened their daughter Lilibet. Fans were quick to note that they chose International Women's Day to reveal details of the ceremony, which took place at their Montecito home, a contrast to christenings held for other royal babies. The news came on the 8th of March exactly six months since the death of Lilibet's namesake, Her Majesty the Queen. The late monarch passed away peacefully at her home in Balmoral on the 8th of September at the age of 96. It's not the first time that Harry and Meghan have chosen auspicious dates to make their announcements. They chose to announce Meghan's pregnancy with Lilibet on Valentine's Day in 2021. Coincidentally the same day that Princess Diana announced her pregnancy with Prince Harry. Speaking in the final episode of his Netflix Decuseries, Harry said that. After the announcement he received messages showing clippings from a front page of a newspaper. Where Diana had revealed she was pregnant with her second child, Harry, on the 14th of February 1984. I was shocked. We had no idea. It was just a coincidence, or maybe not a coincidence, Harry said. Meanwhile, in his tell all book spare, he spoke about the significance surrounding the start of his romance with Meghan. He revealed the pair began messaging one another on a social media app before swapping numbers and texting late into the night. It occurred to me how uncanny, how surreal, how bizarre. That this marathon conversation should have begun on the 1st of July, 2016. My mother's 55th birthday, the prince wrote. Meghan and Prince Harry's children were previously styled as Master Archie Mountbatten Windsor and Miss Lilibert Mountbatten Windsor. Meghan and Prince Harry's children's titles are now reflected on the royal family's website. 
The palace updated the royal family's official website early Thursday to reflect Prince Archie Harrison and Princess Lilibet Diana's titles. They were previously styled as Master Archie Mountbatten Windsor and Miss Lilibet Mountbatten Windsor. The children's titles have been a birthright since their grandfather became monarch, a spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex told. This matter has been settled for some time in alignment with Buckingham Palace. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.